Hey, this is Eileen Fernandez Parker, Cultivating the Learning. Uh, today I'm going to go over how to take vertical data and transpose it so that it runs horizontally across the top. So what we're going to do is each of these cells here is actually supposed to be a heading for the data that we separated in the last episode. So I highlight all of the data that I need to be included in the vertical, in the horizontal, sorry, um, switch. And then I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to cut it. Then I have to click off of the highlight and just select the one cell where I want it to begin. I'm going to right click in that cell and I'm going to skip over paste and I'm going to go to paste special. And the last option is paste transposed. When I choose that, it transposes it to horizontal instead of vertical. So now I'm going to delete these extra rows, 2 through 15, because I don't need them anymore. One thing, though, that I do notice is that um, whenever you transpose data, you always have to look for errors because they're always there. Uh, and so this column right here is the grade level. And over here in this cell, grade is actually merged in with student ID and name. So this cell did not export properly. So what I need to do is test type is actually supposed to be here. So I'm going to highlight these four cells and then I'm going to insert cells. And because I highlighted four, it will push the data over four. So now, this is my student ID. I'm going to erase the word student. And I know that it should be ID, last, first, middle, and then grade. I'm going to add those in here. Last, first, middle, and then grade. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to split this text the way we did in, in a previous episode, but instead of doing it for an entire column or set of rows, I'm going to just choose that one cell. And you have to make sure that you have the cells open for this to go into, otherwise it will overlay existing data. So I have my empty cells. I'm going to go to data, split text to columns. I'm going to choose that it separate by space. And now all of that is done in one step. So I transposed and then I fixed the different um, alignment. And then there might be more mistakes. So you need to make sure that you go through all of them. If you found this helpful, click on the like or the thumbs up below this video.